like donuts. I like donuts. I like the cream filled ones. Oh my god, chocolate eclair donuts, they are the best. Yeah, those are ama those are amazing. I wish I knew the one donut shop that sold a particular one, but it's just like everything just blends together. Uh, uh, here, I'm going to get you guys a link to part 2 of the stream. Uh feel free uh, feel free to spam it around. I will yeah. do that. And to get the music back up, uh so yeah, uh welcome back everybody. We're uh, part 2 of the stream. Yay! And today's stream is being, uh, not sponsored, but it is being approved by a Mr. Deku. Wow. Plus Ultra! Yee. Deku is, in fact, a very good boy. But, uh, um, I, I guess, uh, before I get back to the binder just to get, uh, some more people... Ah, Super Crazy Crasher, welcome back. So, uh... Hi. Before I start getting into into the bit of the binder again, just to get some people to check up a bit, for some of the people who are just coming in, uh, this here is actually an example. This is my trade binder. This is the binder that I hold a lot of the cards that I am willing to end up trading off. So it's a lot of these, yeah, a lot of these pages are just filled with essentially junk cards that I have pulled over the years that I'm like I don't mind parting with. So, at least, uh, you know what, hold on, I gotta get the camera to take a look at some of these. Uh, I'm not gonna go into too much of them, just cause I'll go back into the binder to talk about them some more. But, yeah, a lot of these cards in here are ones where, you know, I'll show people this binder, if there's anything they like that's in it, I'm like, you know what, sure, I don't mind trading this stuff away. I think TP's dead. Yes. TP, why do you do this to us? I thought TP, TP's alive. Oh. Uh, I had, I had it die. TP, do you want a shiny stinny, stanny, whatever mm. they're called? Stinny. I want, I want to raid for one. I would like to raid. Because <laughs> I just randomly found it last night in a raid. <laughs> so, yeah. And, oh, raid! You know what? Jen, here, look, it's a melodic. Ah. Melodic V. I love Melodic. It is a precious baby. Yeah. So but it's such a good mod, and it still holds after all these da goddamn years. Yeah. Hold on. Okay, there we go. But yeah, this is essentially is. the yeah, this is essentially the trade binder I have. Uh, but yeah, Jen, effectively. If you were to ever run into me and I were holding this and you were to find that melodic and ask if that's up for trade, I would tell you yes. Yay! Because, yeah, I not only do I have one in the binder, I also have the full art one. So that's why I have that one in there, because I can afford to give that one away. Okay, what? Which one is the flat one? Okay. So, while... So, with that being that... It is time to go back into the main binder itself, as now we enter the Kalos region. Yay! Ooh. Home to, of course, my favorite Pokemon of all time. Really? Greninja himself. Hey, I'll oh. be right back. I gotta oh. go get tacos. Okay. Okay. She's lying. She just wants to get away from Greninja. <laughs> but we I'm stand, we stand Greninja. <laughs> well, at least Brian does. I, I like Greninja quite a lot. Yeah. And of course, we start things off with probably my favorite card of all time, Greninja Break. Take a shot every time he says favorite card. I would, but I don't drink. Okay. In fact, I actually like this thing so much. That, uh, the shiny Rayquaza statue... Uh, hold on, let me get this thing all set up. The shiny Rayquaza statue that I usually have hanging out back here... Uh, I have this thing in the sleeve sitting in the statue. We stand Greninja, except Game Freak, clearly. No, what are you talking about? Game Freak also stand Greninja. Did you not see th how they added Ash Greninja? I think it's because they're... Uh, Greninja's still not back yet in the main series. That's a sin. G 
Give me my boy back. Drug. I am I am nothing without my boy. So that is a pretty nice stand. Yes, but this Greninja break card straight up became like the top tier deck when it first came out. It was disgustingly good. In fact, it's uh, it's this card in particular that made my friend Alex despise Greninja because it was just that good, and everybody was running it because it was that good. So, the thing behind this Greninja, it's a bill, uh, Greninja Break. It has the ability Giant Water Shuriken, where if you discarded a Water Energy from your hand, you could deal 60 damage to any one of your opponent's Pokemon, either on the active or on the bench. And the, and the jank part about this is, since this is an ability, you can still attack for extra damage. So, here's the strategy that I used for the deck I ran with this in. I'd have two of these in a deck. I'd use Giant Water Shuriken once to deal 60 damage to one of my opponent's Pokemon. And because the Greninja I would evolve this from would have zero retreat cost, it could retreat for free. So I'd switch it out with another Greninja break to deal another 60 damage for one water energy. And, uh, and again, these are just the abilities that I'm using. It can still do another attack for even more damage. And, the, and on top of that, the whole thing of needing to discard energy from your hand to use these abilities didn't matter with Greninja, because it only needed one energy to do everything. You hear that? You're all <laughs> Yep. And then there were other Greninjas that I used that just had regular Water Shuriken, where it only dealed 30 damage to either active or a bench Pokemon. The only difference is, it didn't have to be active to use that ability. So collectively, in one turn, I could I discard 4 energy, and I can deal 180 damage to one card, and my turn is still not over. <laughs> I love, I love Greninja Break. So okay, good. take another shot, people. <laughs> oh god! Like I, I know, I remember like actually like having to constantly keep pulling these, you know, pulling these from packs like over and over again to, to like no avail. So this actually ended up being the very first card that I'd ever have to order online because I'm just like, screw it, I need these. And here and we then have. you never stopped. Well, no, I only got two, because I only needed two of them. No, you never stopped ordering online ever, ever since. Uh, there's some that I ordered online, but that's also mainly just because I just got impatient of not pulling them. Hmm. Here's some. Greninja GXs. I tried to make this work, and it was okay. And that's a crime, because Greninja shouldn't just be okay. more than just okay it's only okay yeah but uh speaking of things that were really good uh here is Greninja's tag team with Zorark huh you know this team up makes sense because they're one's a ninja and one's an illusionist yeah and yeah, I was uh, I was running a deck type called Dark Box. Uh, uh, TP, I think you, I actually faced you with this deck a couple of times. Dark Box? Yes. It's so, it's, it's it's illegal. <laughs> How is it illegal? Okay, so Dark Pulse was an attack where it pretty much did 30 damage plus 30 more for each Dark Energy I have attached to all of my Pokemon in play. And how it would run is that I'd have Naganadel constantly fetching Dark Energy from my discard pile to put on itself. And then Weavile GX allowed me to transfer that Dark Energy to as many Pokemon as I needed to. Pretty much to accelerate the kind of energy that I could get on the field. Which would build up damage for Greninja and Zorark to inflict on the opponent. In other words, I hated it. 
got one victory off of it. <laughs> you, yeah. Hey, everybody mm -hmm. gets one. All right, I'm back. Yeah. So we're looking at Greninja's, and uh, we're looking at the tag team of Greninja and Zorak. Nice. Uh, and actually, uh, speaking of that, I actually got to showcase this one. Uh, the hyper rare that I got from this set, because I actually ended up pulling two of these one time, but out of all of them, I actually kept this one in particular, just because it had an extra. It actually has a misprint. Huh. Oh wow. Yeah, and uh, let's see. Oh, I gotta see if I can try to get the angle to show it right. Okay, yeah, there we go. So you, so for the people watching the stream. Did you you see uh, the misty cloud looking effect that seems to be on the card? That's not supposed yeah. to be there. Oh. Yeah, that is actually an ink error when it came to printing this card. And when it got foiled, yeah, it had like this uh, murky, misty look on it that it's not supposed to have. But not going to lie, I think it makes the card look cooler. <laughs> yeah, it's one of those happy accident situations. <laughs> Yeah. Also, yeah. Crazy Crasher says, "Did Blastoise ever get a tag team? Because Blastoise and Caracosta could be cool." Yes, I it would did. Agree. Uh, yes, it mm -hmm. did. Blastoise got a tag team with Piplop. Oh, Piplop. Yeah. That's a baby. It's fine. It's a, cute team up. It's a baby. The it's one fine. Team up that makes <laughs> no, Blastoise. Blastoise says it'll grow. <laughs> The one tag team up that makes me so mad is Cresselia and Deoxys. Oh, uh, uh, no, uh, Espeon and Deoxys, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, I was talking about that earlier. It yeah. should have been Cresselia and Espeon. I'm in full agreement with him because uh, Dark Ryan and Umbreon got a tag team together, but Espeon didn't get one with Cresselia. You know, it's polar opposite. Yeah. But, like... I did, uh, I was talking to some friends about this as to, like, whether or not, like, this, uh, murky effect on this card actually did anything to the value, and apparently it counts as a damaged card, so its value is less, and I'm just like, oh, come on, oh, it look, I'm like, come on, it looks cooler! It does look cooler. If anything, it should be more valuable. Yeah, like, um, you know, factory error or not, it just adds to the look to the whole thing yeah so yeah no i call bollocks on oh this is worth less because it's technically a damaged card no it looks cooler there's nothing damaged here your opinion is rubbish <laughs> uh, here's some talon phlegms third uh, favorite fire type pokemon yep and florges ex actually was a deck i was trying out for a while you know, I'm actually surprised Moltres and Talonflame didn't get a team up. Well, that's also yeah. because uh, Moltres got a tag team trio with the other birds. Oh. Yeah, but, you know, that would still be kind of cool. It would be cool. Actually, actually, uh, no. You know be even cooler? Tag team with Talonflame and Star Raptor. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. And here's Malamar, the bane of my existence in the TCG. Oh we oh, oh we oh. Like that's what it, that's what Christ sounds like to me. Like, I swear to God, it is TCG's job to try to make Malamar as stupid as possible. Safanikitas Dark Render, hi. Hey. So like, Malamar EX. I hated fighting this because its ability was that any time you attach an energy to Malamar, your opponent's Pokemon would just be put to sleep. Oof. It just... What would be bleh? Uh, Man, I bet it couldn't ever get stupider, huh? Uh, yeah. No, obviously never. Uh, here's Malamar V. I don't have the VMAX, but the VMAX is also stupid. What is VMAX? I, I need to look it up again because I don't remember the stuff on it. I just remember that it was stupid. Oh Four. my god. No. <laughs> Realm Wars, I just thought of a, a really fucked up team team tag team. Yeah. Caterpie and Genesect. And also, my favorite evolution. Sylveon! I love, Yay! I love Sylveon. For me, it's my third favorite. Yeah. Uh, hmm. I'd say for me, my top three are Jolteon, Espeon, and Sylveon. 
Uh, mine's jumbled up. My favorite, my top favorite is Espeon, my second favorite is Jolteon, and my third favorite is Sylveon, as I mentioned. Yeah. My top three, Sylveon, Espeon, and Umbreon. Oh, oh, we broke the pattern. You combo breaker. And, and look! My top three are, are Espeon, Sylveon, and Glaceon. Hey, hey TP. TP. High five. Hey, TP, guess what? What? I dropped the de- no, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's illegal. TP is <laughs> like the hanging. Oh, it's dun dun Uh, I'll do you one better. Kabu tops in Genesect. <laughs> but they don't have the same typings. Uh... Oh, yeah, how, right how, would it, how would it work in the- in the context that's of the why, that's, why I would, that's why I think it would be funny if Genesect uh, got paired up with a Caterpie. Oh, uh, uh, no. You love you. Jo Jordan, don't what? look at the chat. You know, I have admin abilities. I could put you in time now. <laughs> don't tempt me. Wait, what, what happened? Caesar and Ledian. Oh, that would be a possible No, 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 no. Lady in. Uh, now that I read it. Lady Ba, though. Yeah. Lady Ba would suck. Yeah. Because I it mean, does. Like... It's the psychic suck that ever sucked. It's red. It's a fact. It's it not is. an opinion. It's fact. Here's another one. It's Zapdos red. And it's... They're both red, though. Wait, what? Zapdos and Joltik. <laughs> By the way, just to mention, though, about the Dedenne GX. This thing is also commonly played still. Again, just because the ability was good for draw power. Hmm. So, what the Den AGX allows you to do is if you played it from your hand onto your bench, you could discard your hand and then draw six more cards. Now you have spoopy trees. And also, uh, Trevenant had a tag team with Dusk Noir. I can see that. Uh, this card was actually no, this card was also actually pretty good. Uh, I actually used this in my deck with uh, Mewtwo and Mew, just because its ability could use this thing's attacks, and it was dumb in the uh, in the idea that uh, Night Watch uh, not only did it deal a whopping 150 damage, but uh, you also chose two random cards in your opponent's hand, and they had to shuffle it back in their deck. By the way, TP, you left me hanging on that high five. How dare you? I slapped my table. I didn't hear it. <laughs> well, you know what? It's the thought that counts. I guess, but you should at least announce it. <laughs> <laughs> Here, ha have a shiny Xerneas. Carnivore and Xerneas would have been a cute tag team. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. But well, uh, um, I'd say more mystical. Yeah. Although I'm, although I'm okay with the tag team of Gardevoir and Sylveon. Yeah, me too. Mm -hmm. Uh, Snorlax and Guzzlord. <laughs> <laughs> they're not the same type though, so it couldn't work. But they're both big. They're both big boys. They're thick. It's Snorlax or Slacking. You know, uh. That could work. Also, all I can think of when I hear when I, somebody says Guzzler is just Guzzler screaming. <laughs> no, 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 no. They were clearly at the point where they just stopped trying. Also, I uh, hear have a bacon bird. Bacon bird? Yvaddle. Yep, shiny oh, Yvaddle. Yeah, okay. Yep, shiny Yvaddle G. Uh, Eltel EX. Bacon! Yep. Which apparently Moltres took its type. Yep. And also, I like this alternative full art with uh, Evaltal EX. It is Ooh, really good. Team up with I would. <laughs> TP Evaltal. Actually, um... Uh, TP back on his no use streak. Actually, thinking about it, Evaltal and Absol would be a good tag team. They would be, actually. Well, okay. Absol... Um, in terms of lore, was falsely accused into being the dark type, and it warns people of natural disasters, but they just happen after the fact. Yep. And here is Zygarde. 
So I don't know, Jen. Um, I think if anything, Absol would want nothing to do with Yvette. True. There's a, uh, yeah. and here's DNC. You know who would want to do abs what anything with, with Yvette? Who? Let me guess you. No, uh. I, I Sandra. <laughs> oh, true. <laughs> You, what, you Ooh, think it's always actually, gonna be about me? Huh? Is I don't know, it? it's, I don't know, it's hard to predict with you! <laughs> actually, I got a good one. Yvonne and Mandibuzz. Yvonne and Mandibuzz? Yeah, I can see that. Also, Jordan. Hoopa! I'm not surprised. <laughs> also, here's a, here's a funny I one. I wasn't even gonna say it this time! Well, you were thinking it. Here's a funny one for uh, Zygarde, for a tag team. Yeah. It mm -hmm. and Diglett. <laughs> oh my god, yes. <laughs> oh, and uh, it's in its 10% uh, uh, form, I think it's called. Yeah. The dog form, and yeah. it's trying to dig around for the Diglett, but it's just popping up behind it. <laughs> and here's some Volcanians. Volcanian. Yeah. Yep. I love that one. That, that has to be one of my favorite legendaries, because yep. it's got such a unique typing. Oh, mythical, I think, yeah. But now, we enter the land of Alola as we start with a tag team of Rowlet and Alola the Executor. Whoa! I mean, I guess he could stand on top of its head and snipe. <laughs> uh, Victory Bell and Carnivine? Ooh, I like that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Here's Alternatively, a Victory they Bell. They can eat James together. Alternatively, Victory Bell and Kecnia. <laughs> Here's a, here's a shiny Rowlet and a shiny Dartrix. No, I like Carnivine better. I know. But can you work too? And Jordan, Incineroar! Yay! Beware an Ursaring? Yeah. Two big bears. And now, Primarina! Oh! Yay. Another one of my favorite Pokemon. Primarina um, and Milotic, make that happen, please. Um, also, 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 I want to mention, uh, I still have my shiny Primarina that I bred 23 eggs for. Her name is Mila Mainly, and I love her to death. Yep. And also, look, it's the killer of our country. Uh, oh, right. Trump weasel. Yep. In fact, let's ignore them and go straight the to Vicavolt. Their shiny form is the only one that exists. And, uh, you know what, let's, uh, let's skip them, ignore them, and go straight to Vicavolt. Okay, so hold on. I actually need to take out these two uh, Vigavolt. What do you mean he doesn't sound like that? I need to take out these two Vigavolt just to show this off because I I st I call one of them the secret rare Vigavolt GX, and for one reason only. Take a look at them. Uh, hold on. I I I need to actually get a better uh, image of this. Oh, it's, oh, I, I, I see what it is. I see what it is. Yeah, uh, yep, you see what it is. But, uh, Jen, Jordan, do you notice? Uh, uh, I just closed out the stream. <laughs> um, uh, I'm stupid. What's the difference? Okay, uh, let me give you a hint. And just think outside the box, okay? Something wrong. Oh, I see it. I see it. The 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 top is oh. like a little more. Oh yeah, the yeah. formatting's off. Yeah, like the card is way off center, and I pulled this out of a pack just like that. Hmm. Wow. Sorry, I think this would mean more to me if I played this game. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. I mean, I get no, I get that, but it's like I just find it really. Fun I just still find it really funny that it's like, oh wow, they actually let the card like come out in that condition. So, and yes, yeah, Super Crazy Crusher. I'm one of the very few minority who actually likes firefighting types. Um, I appreciate the fact that Incineroar's fire dark because it, you know, subverts your expectations, but. Fire fighting is not a bad type, guys. I understand that um, it's been repeated for three generations, but they broke the pattern with Delphox. And they broke it again with Incineroar, so what's the fucking problem? 
And they broke it again with Cinderace. Yeah, Cinderace is a pure fighting uh, fire type, uh, like Typhlosion is. We've now gone longer without a fire fighting type than there have been a time. But where... honestly, I think Cinderace should have been a fire fighting type. Well, no, you see, it can technically be a fighting type. Just have it have, have Libra. Oh my god. Yeah. yeah, it can. Well, not a dual type, but yeah. you know. But now, we get ourselves some rock ruffs and some lichen rocks. Yay! Dust form lichen rock is my favorite rock type. I do have a dust form lichen rock GX here. Yay! I unfortunately do. I unfortunately do not have the shiny version of it, which I would really like. You know, I'm just thinking about it. Verizion tag team with Breloom. <laughs> That'd be interesting. Terracon yeah. and Lichen Rock. Yep. Uh huh. And uh, who would Cobalion be with? Cobalion. I kind of want to say Metagross. Metagross. I was about to say Bisharp, but then I caught myself. Wait a minute, Bisharp's a dark, a part dark type. Well, no, it's it's fine. Like if they if they have as long as they have a similar typing in one way, shape, or form, because uh, Venusaur and Snivy are together, but because they're both technically grass types, it works. Oh, Keldeo and uh, Wishy Washy. Yep. Uh, speaking of yeah. Wishy Washy, uh, here is the trainer card with Wishy Washy with uh, Lana. Oh, like I'm just picturing the little like uh, Keldeo's trying to train all the little Wishy Washies. Yep. Is this Wishy Washy? Which I think would be adorable. There's wishy the one Wishy Washy by itself, and it's crying. Wishy Washy, Wishy Washy. It's so fun to say too. <laughs> and he is yeah. Toxapex. The three elemental monkeys could be could be one. Uh, the elemental monkeys minus um, semi semi seer because no one likes semi seer. <laughs> and uh, Jed, uh, here's yeah. so Lazzle. Yeah, gonna, my girl. Yeah, I, say, I don't think I don't think the elemental monkey monkeys could be together because they don't share a type. Yeah, like the legendary birds at least were all. In normal type so yeah they're all flying so they can share that yeah you know uh, until you explained it i didn't know what the theming with the dual cards were and until you said it <laughs> yeah girl, they have to have at least queen. one type similar and to again each other. i don't play the game so i wasn't sure <laughs> look at her she is my girl you know you, you do realize that now they know what they did they liked what they did and they did good <laughs> Uh, he's um, that would be a. You know, no, that's uh, Fawful's minions' words, not mine. <laughs> you you do realize that nowadays Salazzo would be uh, uh in the dark uh, type category. Pretty, pretty sure yes. I actually agree. That would actually be pretty, pretty cool. Oh, that's a shiny Wimpod. Oh, Cassie's back. <gasps> Cassie. Hi. Hi. We're on oh, the surprise. We're on the Alolas. Oh, cool. Yep. Oh, Arceus and Type No, that. Oh, be... yeah, yeah. Actually, oh. um, Arceus has a tag team trio with uh, Dialga and Palkia. However, they were able to get away with that because they actually drew the Arceus for that card as to holding the Dragon Plate. Oh, so a uh, workaround. Yep. Uh, I still he... like that idea of like Silver Alley and uh, Arceus. By the way, I think you'll like these Silvali cards a lot just because of what they did with them in terms of pairing with Gladian. By the way, by the way, I got the uh, full art version of a. Uh, oh, the alternate full art. The alternate full art of uh, Arceus, Dialga, and Palkia. <laughs> Realm Wars would like to know your location. <laughs> it's cur um, it's currently sit it's currently sitting up on my uh on my uh shelf right right in the mega in the black sandy Requesa uh display. That thing better be sleeve TP. Yeah. Oh, so Good. I just started watching a recent episode of the Owl House, and I'm feeling things, and I'm happy. Yeah. I'm, I'm feeling I'm feeling things too, like full. Yeah, here's it. But yeah, yeah. I, I I like the images of of uh, Gladion just giving his Silvali the cuddles. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. He's, he's traveling the world with his doggo. Yep. Isn't doesn't 
doesn't like Civali evolve with friendship too? So. Yes. Yes, it does. Yeah. And now, TP, we get to the Mimi Cues. Ah, oh, sweet. Along with uh, the trainer card of Ace Rolla and Mimi Q, and this art is absolutely precious. I love Mimi Q. It's such a precious Pokemon. Oh, Jed, wait, wait till you see the artwork with uh, it and Ace Rolla. Okay. Oh, okay. I see we're on the the turtle dragon. Yep. Oh, that is cute! I just saw it. Absolutely precious. And here's Aww. the rainbow Mimi Q. My friend absolutely hates Mimikyu, and I'm like, why? Why? She's like, well, she was like, well, it's because it's creepy, and I'm like, how is it creepy? It just wants to be your friend. She's like, that's the point. It's a little too creepy of being wanting to be my friend. Oh. Okay, so apparently it. Uh, apparently she doesn't believe in friendship. Friendship is creepy. She'll never survive at My Little Pony. <laughs> my Little Pony. <laughs> my Little Pony. <laughs> Is that, my little pony, my little pony. Ah! <laughs> oh yeah, I never listened to the full intro, so I didn't know where to go with it. <laughs> and Como O, oh, a card that I wish was good. Hey, the fighting dragon. Yeah. Yeah. I. So, wish uh, Como OGX was good because it has hard hitting attacks and it can also buff its defenses a bit. But unfortunately, Como O suffered under the unfortunate TCG syndrome of Dragon type sucks. Uh, yeah, that really sucks. <clears throat> um, yeah, actually, uh, the re with the recent episode of the Owl House, I was actually, I was like. I was actually looking for- it was like a bit of like a one-off mention, it was based off this one-off mention from one of the episodes, um, basically that, if you don't know, um, Will and Am and Lee were friends originally, and we have an episode that actually addresses that, so I was like, yes, we finally get this episode. Yeah. So oh, by the way, Romores, I'm kind of glad that Heaton's not here, because guess what just happened? Uh, what? does it involve fates? Yes, it kind of does. I got- there was a trainer named Gilgamesh, and he traded me a shiny Shinx. Ha! Ah. Oh. Uh, but here's some Tapu Coco. Oh, Tapu Coco. I like Tapu uh, Benny. She's my Tapu favorite. Lily is my favorite. Yeah. Or as uh, or as Leon Hart would call him, Tapu the Morning Coco. <laughs> You know, uh, everybody was bitching about how, you know, Finny would use Aqua Wing, but it's like, back in that generation, it's like, GUYS! Heelbot exists for a reason! <laughs> no, it doesn't. Yep. And now, for uh, my favorite of the Tapu GXs, Tapu Lele GX! Hey. Tapu Lele! She's adorable. This was also a card that everybody ran, because it was that good. Why did- why did everyone run it? Because it was a combination of both uh, Mewtwo EX and Jirachi EX. Its ability, when you placed it from your hand onto your bench, you got to search your deck for a supporter and put it in your hand. Come on, Lucky. Come on. It's and? Fine. And then energy drive. For two energy, you dealt 20 damage times the amount of energy attached to both active Pokemon. Oh, damn. And because it was only it only needed colorless energy, this card could go into literally any deck that you built. And I'm also very happy to have the gold, uh, the uh, not the gold, uh, the rainbow tapu lele. Yay. I like how I like how her in her face looks. She's just like. Did I do that? <laughs> she is adorable. Aw, uh, did I confuse you? <laughs> I, I do like the top Good. Ones. What's that red uh, stuff coming out of your nose? No, it's like, aw, did okay? I- okay? It's like, aw, did I use Guzma on you? I'll take the win now. <laughs> oh. oh. Your boy, Oh Guzma. my god. Oh my god, uh. Hey, I don't know if you guys heard about this uh, Reddit, which is really dumb. I think I should on Realm 
like days ago, you know which Shredder I'm talking about, right? Yeah. Yeah. Apparently now they're judging um real life women now. Oh boy. Wait, what? Apparently it's a picture of this lady. Um, let me just. It's so stupid. I'm just like. Well, I guess you're now judging us. Uh, Real life women with uh, certain body types. Oh my fucking fuck? god, people! Can we not? Like, oh. okay, uh, yeah, not enough for you? Can we please reboot Earth? <laughs> Why are you doing this? Is that what Twenty Twenty's already trying to do? It's like, no, she's just standing there. Just fine. It's like I'm sorry. Um, just I guess women can't take there. boobs. Then I guess she's like, just standing there, menacingly. I, she's just standing uh, there, parting uh, her hair. Seriously, where's so, the problem? So, uh, here's a uh, top of the morning, Bulu. <laughs> oh, let's see. Top of the morning, Bulu. And uh, believe it or not, there are actually two type of Vikavolt decks that were going around. Uh, one of them was uh, one of them was uh. Ray Vault, which was Rayquaza and Vic Vault. The other one was this one. It was a Bulu Vault. Oh, uh. Oh, Rosen. I got something to yeah. show you. Oh. Watch this cute little lamb. Yep. Oh, whoops, not that. And also, that? by the way, Jen, just for you, here is Finny. Yay, Finny! Oh, she and not just. Uh, these Tapu Finnies, there's a- I have a rainbow one, and the gold one. Nice. So, oh, um, Hidden Fate go, had here. gold here. variations of all the Tapus. Oh! Let's see this. So yeah, uh, Hidden Fates had gold versions of all the Tapus. Unfortunately, the only one I was ever able to get my hands on was Finny. I really want Lele, though. That's the one that I want the most. I'm thinking like a cute okay. little tag team, like Tapu Finny and uh, Carbink. I mean, not Finny, uh, Lily with Carbink. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now. Okay. Oh. Right. Who died? Cassie died. Oh. I, I think she had to go somewhere. Hmm. So here is Solgaleo. Hey, I'm trying to think of a good tag team for them. Actually, they have one. Oh. Yep, I'm actually about to get to it soon, but uh, here is a gold Solgaleo. Oh, the gold one looks really cool. It is. Yeah. One over here, there's the prison, and the tag team <laughs> is uh, Solgaleo and Lunala. Ha! An expected one. Yep. Expected. But, yeah, but look, Lily is there. Yay! Yay! I, that makes it worth it. I am still on the hunt for the full art and rainbow of this one. I have yet to pull it. And speaking of Lunala, here is Lunala, and I also have a gold one of this. I love Lunala. She has to be my favorite legendary. I can see why. She's pretty. Yep. Yeah, but there's also like um, uh, pagan routes, from what I understand, with her. Yeah. Hmm. Like, like you know, because she represents the moon, you know, female stuff. Um, but it's also because she's got a third eye. Yep. Right. Yeah. By the way, I can't believe it. You take the moon and you take the. TP, I will fucking cut your hand. So, this. Take everything that seems like. So, guys, this Rainbow Lunala is what started it all. This was my very first Rainbow card that I pulled. Wow. And then you never stopped. Yeah. Then it just kept going and going and going. <laughs> and then my friend Alex hated me. I thought your friend Alex hated you because you got a Greninja. He hates me for that too. Which honestly is a dumb reason for hating a Pokemon, not gonna lie. Because <laughs> it kept kicking your ass. Oh, right. oh, you saw it? Yeah, that was cute. Oh, okay, welcome back, Cassie. So, yeah, I am showing off the very first rainbow card I ever pulled. Which one? Lunala GX. Oh, pretty. To yep. me, I'm the first rainbow card that Realms ever. He played. clearly said Lunala GX. I'm secretly hey, dead. 
I'm secretly Long live the joke. I am, I am secretly Lunology X. JP, if you keep this up, I'm going to have people request a commentary from you commentating on Verisify. Oh, Jesus. Uh, actually, God. by the way, I did try to run this just on the principle that it was the first rainbow that I did pull. And I tried to run it with a Mewtwo deck. And it was okay. Like, the idea of it was solid. I just, for some reason, just could not get it to work. Either just, you know, I just keep getting dump draws or things just weren't playing out the way that I thought they were going to. But, you know. Yeah, I, I will always remember this one as being the first to get me all my other rainbows. But I also Realm do have another gold Lunala. This is, this is the star of, this is uh, Realms' of Star of Darkness. Right here. <laughs> and now we have some Ultra Beasts. Yay! Yeah, such as we got Lily Fish. <laughs> uh huh. Lily Fish. And then Lucamine Bug. Yeah, we got, yeah, we got Buzzwall. Buzzwall, I love that guy. Especially when you fade him, he still flexes because he's like, yeah, I may be defeated, but I still look good. Yeah. yeah. L like, if. If Jotaro weren't to have him a champ, he'd have a buzzwall. <laughs> Mosa Monk Buzzwall! Yep, and uh, yeah, uh, here's Faramosa. Uh, my favorite Ultra Beast, primarily just from the fact that she looks like Lucimine. That I literally call her Lucimine Bug. Yeah. Not and everyone uh, has to be Celesteela. And they I also have that. a tag team, Buzzwall and Faramosa! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, my favorite Ultra Beast is Naganadel, but Celesteela is definitely a- And by the my way- favorite is, My favorite is Stack Attacka. By the way- Don't ask me why. Here Don't is the me. alternative fault of Faramosa and Buzzwall, and it's glorious. Uh, they, yeah, they look like Jojo. Jo jo. <laughs> Wait, does that make, uh- Buzzwall, uh, Joe Faramosa stand? I uh, would say yes. Actually, no, see, this is actually part two. In the back, that's Joseph Joestar and Faramosa's Lisa Lisa. Ah. <laughs> uh. Oh, I, I saw the tree. I saw the weird, yep. wacky, Zir playable yep. man, too. Zirka there. tree. He's also a good one, because, like, God, that special attack. Also, wires. also, uh, has access to tail glow. Favorite Ultra Beast is Cartana because no one likes him. I like Cartana. I think Cartana's I cool. Did I, I think so? I found, I found something. Whoever said that? I found something. Uh, cool. Um, one, why, why, why know a fun fact about uh about um Cartana? Yeah. In Sun and Moon, it's uh, it's it's uh, its catch rate was two hundred and fifty-five. Now, because of this, that means you could throw an, an a beast ball. At any percent, including 100, and it'd be a guaranteed capture. Huh. Wow, uh, so it's pretty easy to catch then? God, yeah, I'm a little absolutely. In, in Sun and Moon, in uh, Sun, because it's not, it's in Ultra yes. Sun, it, it's a, it's a, it was the Sun, it was one of the Sun exclusive uh, Ultra Beasts. Hmm. In Poke, um, in Ultra Sun, the catch rate was modified, so you couldn't just throw it and automatically capture it, but it's still good. Yep. Also, I'm a, um, uh, worried. I'm a little bit worried because in the Carrot Crown Tundra, we're getting the Ultra Beast back, and, you know, Beast Balls are going to be uh, very scarce unless Jade Freak somehow fixes it. <laughs> Fix the fucking Apricorn Balls, please. I think... Um, I think it, I. I, th I, I think they want to play that three times. Yeah, I can't remember its name. Huh? Oh, uh, they want to play Yeah, that one is Celestia. Yeah, in fact, so, Celestia is beautiful. In fact, guys, take a look at the stream right now. She is. She and is my thanks. favorite ultra based. Like, she's bulky, she's tanky, and I love that she's based off of the Moon Princess. Uh, yeah, Kaguya. Yeah, I like that. Yep. Honestly, I think that's what I named my Celesteela, Ka Kaguya. Yep. And she is on the stream right now. 
Well, Honestly, Stella Steel would be uh, one of the Ultra Beasts that I would willingly hug. What's funny is back in my Ultra, What's funny is back in my Ultra Moon game, I actually managed to catch one in a nest ball because you know it fits her color scheme. Mm -hmm. And when I looked at her, her nature was calm, which is like, oh my god, yes, please. And her character characteristic is capable of taking it. So I'm like, oh my god, where have you been? You caught a god tier Celestela in the nest ball? Yeah! Wow. So, uh, ah, hey guys, how about some god lords? Out. Hey, it's the sharpest Once boy. again, oh. I cut up a worthless uh, don't you mean the... ah! No, that's Guzzlord. I yeah, see Cartana. Cartana. He said a Guzzlord, didn't he? I heard, I, I, I heard Cartana, and I yeah. see we Cartana. We have two totally different things. Cartana is like Realm Wars. Wait, why? <laughs> what? You're, you're small. What? You're small. Oh. Oh. And sometimes it could be edgy. Are you threatening to eat him? No! Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, yeah, because you you don't eat blades. That's weird. By the way, Realms is just like a Cartana. After all, after all, Realms 2 likes to cut up worthless objects. Oh, not wrong. Oh, By the way, this up. Uh... Oh, sorry, I was going to say, uh, this Guzzlord has an attack called Eat Sloppily. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah, I still need to know where the recipe's from. I, 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 I do appreciate that, it's, that if you can, like, with that, with that, if you, like, are able to, uh, to, like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? If you're able to, if you're, um, uh, so yeah, the effect is that if you eat sloppily, you have to discard up, uh, you have to discard up to five cards from your deck, and if any of them are dark energy, you attach it straight to Guzzlord. No, I. So if you have, if you're able to control, where, like, where you put your cards, this okay. Pokemon become that. That becomes, uh, that goes from a liability. Hey guys, I gotta go. You... Um, oh, okay. My mom wants to go somewhere, so right, I'll be see back. Ya. Okay. Right. Bye. Right. See ya. Later then. See ya. It goes from a liability to being able to deal freaking uh, 180 damage a turn. Yep. It's actually, uh, TP. Fucking this hell. was. This, uh, there was a troll deck with this thing, where the way that you would build this deck is that you'd have one Guzzlord GX, and then 59 Dark Energies. Oh my god. See, that's how you make a troll deck. Yeah, I mean, if if Guzzlord GX ends up getting KO'd, you instantly lose the game, because you only have one, but it <laughs> I mean, works. I mean, alternative, I mean alternat alternatively, you could have, uh, four... Count them. Four could. Guzz Guzzlord uh, GX in your deck. No. Dusk Main Necrozma. Also a top tier deck when it first came out. Wait, Dusk Form or? Uh, Dusk Main. Okay. Yeah, just put this thing with magna zones and just attach as many steel energy as you need and just nuke everything for big damage. Oh look, it's the prism Pokemon. Yep. <laughs> and also speaking of uh, top tier decks, Ultra Necrozma GX. Dear God. Like, so guys, you ever wanted to nuke, you ever want to just get easy nukeable damage and then just recycle all that energy because of Malamar? Well, you can do that. Okay. Magirna. Thank you, Pokemon Home, for making its original form available. <laughs> yeah, now, uh, when are we getting a shiny version? Uh, they blue screen. Yep. And now here is Marshadow, or as my friend Anastasia likes to call it, Marshmallow. I mean, it is a little marshmallow. 
And uh, Marshadow also had a tag team card with the greatest art ever. What? Marshadow and Machamp. Um. Oh my god. They're both fighting types. I yeah. no 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 no. I'm trying to remember what it looks like. Well, it, it's about to go on stream. Yeah. Oh. In the meantime, I'm trying to remember. Oh, there it is. Yeah, okay. JoJo reference. Hi. <laughs> oh, no, 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 Yeah, like, yeah. I, I have told people, if this were to ever somehow get made into a deck, the deck has to either, the deck either has to be called Star Platinum or the Stardust Crusaders. <laughs> Uh, but the alternative full art's also pretty good. Look, Marshadow. Everything the light touches is our kingdom. What about that shadowy place? That's Smogon. I'm not allowed there. Yeah. <laughs> unless I no, unless I Gigantamax. And even then, I'm not allowed there. They put me in Ubers. <laughs> wow. Machamp must feel proud of, her, uh, proud of itself. <laughs> To be fair, they put all the Gigantamax forms in Ubers. Yep. I wouldn't know that. And Jordan! Playpool! Uh, it's a Playpool! And then followed that... Nagunadal! Yep. This is also a Pokemon, I swear, I've heard several pronunciations for. Like, I hear Nagunadal, I hear Nagunadal, I hear Naganadal. Or my pronunciation, Naganadal. Yeah. You know, in one fell swoop. Yeah. There's also my pronunciation. No. <laughs> no, it's just flat out wrong. It, I think another one I also heard was uh, Nagandel. Nagandel. You you missed you missed you missed a sil you missed a syllable. <laughs> uh, Nagandel also had a tag team with Guzzlord. What? That's a weird one. <laughs> Both I mean, dragons. I get that they're both. Dra I get it. I get that they're both dragons, but they're both ultra beasts. You couldn't have paired it with something else, like I don't know, uh, Ariados or Rogun. And uh, it's uh, the alternative full art. I swear to God, it looks like it was drawn by the Oinko Boingo brothers. Um, I guess I guess we're gonna see it in a second. <laughs> Uh, here, I'll actually pull it out of uh, I'll pull it out of the pouch. Just uh, get a better look at it. Wait, somebody the Oingo Bingo Brothers? Yeah, from part three of JoJo. Oh, God. The Oingo Boingo Brothers, yeah, brothers, yeah. Game Freak says that there aren't any true pronunciation for Pokemon, but we could seriously. So yeah, um, Illumise no. is pronounced Illumise, Chugga. No, okay. Illumise. No, no. Okay, I call bullshit because we have had booklets before where they have official pronunciations for those Pokemon in the information in those books. Okay. So Game Freak yeah. just forgot. <laughs> Man, uh, we're getting all the JoJo references today. Also, yeah, I see it. I see it now. Yeah. I also used this in the uh, in the Mewtwo Mew deck because uh, just primarily because it had an attack that could just do straight up 180 damage easy. Sorry, I think our canary is chirping. Uh, now it can do 180 damage easy, but it only needs three energy as opposed to the five that the previous Guzzler needed. Yeah. And uh, TP, you said Stack Attacker was your favorite. Okay, what what what's what's that uh, ability like? Uh, it's GX. Yeah. What uh, it says once during your turn, you may discard a Pokemon from your hand. If you do, heal sixty Pokemon from this damage. Uh, no, from, I meant, from this Pokemon. No, I meant like the freaking um, st uh, oh, Naganadel. Okay, uh, so uh, for this Naganadel, once during your turn, you may discard an Ultra Beast card from your hand. If you do, draw three cards. No, I'm a, I'm.
I, I meant... I meant, uh, with the, uh... With the, uh... With, with, with the team up. Oh. Uh, yeah, as I mentioned, uh, Violent Appetite, once during your turn before your attack, you may discard a Pokemon from your hand if you do heal 60 damage from this Pokemon. Oh, uh, okay. But yeah, here is, uh, here's Stack Attacker for you, TP. And I have, I have a Rainbow and Shiny one. Okay, go fuck yourself. really <laughs> hot. And here is Blacephalephalephalus. Blacephalon. Yep. Ow! Jordan, that was the joke. Explody Clown! The best kind of clown! I have a rainbow one as well. And Zeta Aura GX. Hmm? Hold on, hold on. Oh! Oh, it's, a, it's the clown! Yeah, yep. Blacephalon. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah, clown, yep. ultra beast. Yep, and here we have Zeta Aura. Yeah, this would be heavy rain Pokemon. Oh my, oh my, I'm gonna... A you you yep, messed it up. up. A Pokemon who I still think should be part know, fighting. It okay, been... so it's part fighting in the TCG? No. No. What? No, I'm saying Sorry, it should... I'm... I'm, ugh, I'm, I'm saying, going in and out. Yeah, it's saying it should be part fighting, but it's not. Yeah, I'm going in and out of consciousness. Sorry. Go to sleep. No. Well, I. I mean, it's 7, I have. It's 7:30. I have relaxing music. If that's to give us anything. No, that's gonna make me fall asleep during the stream. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no. Uh, this Zero Aura is what essentially made Electric Dex super good. Cause once you put this thing into play, all of your electric, all of your Pokemon that had electric energy attached to them had no retreat cost. It didn't matter if they if they had to, if they couldn't use it either. It's just it's just electric type energy, right? Yeah. As long as it had electric energy, it had zero retreat cost. So I actually used this in my Ravolt deck, which gave Rayquaza GX zero retreat cost. Oh, oh my god! Yeah, I came across the best sheer cosplay. Nice. Here's get this. Here's Mel Metal GX, and now we finally enter the Galar region. Uh -huh. Here it is. Hey, Catra. <laughs> the best sheer cosplay ever. Yeah. We have and one of the most accurate. We have some Rillaboom. Yeah. And Jordan, it's ya bun bun. Cinderace! Guzma! <laughs> Not yet, TP. Oh my that God, was the last generation. Um... <laughs> Honestly, probably the show I went for, and probably one of my favorites. I don't know, it just... Could appear... I knew Guzma it could, could appear in this generation. It has bug type. It also, has yes. Bug. Oh, I named this thing... I named my Billaboom Jonathan. Uh, I, I named mine, uh... I named mine, uh, Phillaboom. Thanks, my friend, Dr. Crafty. Uh, oh, that's cool. I, I don't appreciate that we had, uh... We had, uh... Rillaboom and... Cinderace and uh, Intellion uh, VMAX forms before they have proper uh, Gigantamax forms. Yeah. I don't care. <laughs> uh, I will say though, Pax, if you're gonna give me this VMAX, give me the rainbow one. You've given me this one three fucking times. What, what happened? I, I swear to God, I constantly keep pulling Full art Cinder Ace V Max all the time. Like, oh come on! If you're gonna give me this card, give me the rainbow one. I don't have that one yet. But here's, but yeah, here's some Intellions, and an Eldegoss, and a double. And some a Boltund and a Cramorant. And we got the two oh. mood Pokemon, Toxtricity. Nice. 
And uh, and here's the babby phalanx. Stone Journeys, the rainbow one. We have an Ice Q and Indeedy. Hello, are people still there? No. Uh, um. Yeah. Yeah. It just, it just got not... it just got real quiet in the chat. Oh, okay, TP's not here, guys. TP is dead. Yep. Shit. <laughs> yep. Here's him. Here's an Indeedy. Indeedy, get out of my laboratory. <laughs> <laughs> but Master, who's going to clean up after you? I'd let her clean up after, after me because my family is. I, I'm just gonna stop right there. <laughs> here's a uh, more Petco. Oh, Monokuma, the Pokemon. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, nice. I suppose it would be. Yep. Here's some Kaparaja, and behold, the one, the card that got me my 100th rainbow, Kaparaja VMAX. Also, is it me, or are there little to no 2D illustrations for Gen 8 uh, so far? Uh, that's a common thing when it comes to a lot of, like, the EX and GXs. They're usually given lots of CGI art, which, truth be told, is something that the TCG community are kind of get annoyed with, because um, a lot of the time, some of the CG just doesn't look good. Yeah, um... Uh, I think a lot of Pokemon translate well into 3D, but if they were meant to uh, be drawn into a 2D plane, then that's where they look their best. Yeah. Also, can I just say one thing about Kaparaja as a Pokemon that annoys me? Yeah. Its focal point is its nose, and more often than not, that's what you're going to see, like, staring at you. <laughs> and you know what? That's why one of its attacks is called Dangerous Nose. Well... Yeah, we added that to the list. <laughs> Dangerous news. It does Out there in the ranks of Goddamn Punch and Forest Dump. If it does a hundred damage and a hundred more, if your opponent's active is a basic Pokemon. And now we get to, actually, I want to say my favorite Pokemon from Galar, Dragapult. Oh yeah, the thing that loves it is children. Yep. And now, and yet, uh, here is the Hyper Drag Pulp that I was super happy to have finally pulled. Give it a second. I'm so surprised the Dragon Pulp's Pokedex entries are so weird. <laughs> it's just like shooting babies. It's yeah, so it's doing the Goomba strategy. Paragoomba strategy. Yeah. Yep. Or Yoshi strategy. There it is. Yep. Dangerous Nose, also fun. known as Scary Schnoz. And just now, Jordan, we get to your girl. Uh, Melly. What? Yeah, I can't believe it. Melly is a is a Pokemon card. Melly's a Pokemon? Why didn't you tell me? Oh my god. Uh, we figured we figured the the truth to be too much for you to handle, so we we decided to not ever. Oh, Zapian. Okay, there we go. Uh, I think get my hopes up. I want to say I think Zashin is still a uh, is still a top tier deck, just because it ju it just has a lot of a lot of things that still go well for it. It can still run uh it can still run Arceus, Dialga, and Palky with it to maximize its damage output, which is good. And Intrepid Sword as an ability is still super good as well, like especially first turn. Uh, what's, what's its ability? Once during um, your turn, you may look at the top three cards of your deck and attach any number of steel energy cards from you find there to this Pokemon. Put the other cards into your hand. If you use this ability, your turn ends. So yeah, turn yeah. one. So yeah, turn one, this ability is super good.
And I also have the full art Zashian V. I do not have the gold one, though. I have been kind of hunting for that one, since that's kind of the only card from the base sword and shield set that I do kind of care about, aside from the full art Dragapult. Those are the only two cards that I am on the hunt for. And then to end things off, Zamazenta. What, you don't have Eternatus yet? Eter I... Darkness Ablaze isn't out yet, TP! <laughs> I can't believe you don't have Eternatus yet. Because the okay, set's so not out I, yet! Let him just march straight over to Wizards of the, Co <laughs> Wizards of the Coast and de have him demand Zamazenta. Actually, I don't think Wizards of the Coast or... handles the card game anymore. Eternatus. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. Wow, Wiz what is with my brain today? It's it's fine. Uh, I, mean, I, know, I know they used to handle the card game, but I don't think they do anymore. Uh, I played Zamazenta, now you fool me after Rising of the Shield Hero. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, yep. <laughs> what I just what I just experienced was uh, when Elliot fell asleep during uh, one of the SGB recordings, and he's like, "Okay, I'm still awake." No, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but uh, even though we are done with the Pokemon, we're not done with this binder yet, because there is oh. one other segment to take a look at, and I have them near the back of the binder. Human so. Trainers. So, yeah, as you saw, at the front of the binder is where I keep... Also, the... Luffy on live, what? Oh. The... The tennis Pokemon? What? Okay, I am just going to put you on timeout. No. <laughs> no. I'm, not, I'm not going to. <laughs> but, so, yeah. As you saw, the front of the binder is where I have all the Pokemon. The back of the binder... Full art supporters! Oh, right. I kind of forgot these existed. Yep. And uh, Jordan, look, it's it's uh, your other girl. Uh, really? Give it a second. You're testing me, TP. But yes, uh, is it Melly? Uh, sadly, no. Hmm. Yeah, uh, it's it's trying to focus. Zinnia. Yep. Hi, Zinnia. I have this card. Yes, you do. You're welcome. Yeah, thank you. Have Winona, and, uh, Wick is looking very thick. Here. Oh, the theme. We have Full Art Wilder. And look, Jordan, it's your other favorite girl. Uh, give Wilder. me a minute. Zinnia. We already saw Zinnia. Not... Hang on, maybe if I refresh the page, it'll go faster. <laughs> Cynthia! Cynthia! Run, you stupid piece of shit! Wait, what? Oh, fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> um... I punched Whitney in the gut and then just run away. No, no punching, no punching Whitney in the gut. Yeah, I was a punch of real tank. I'm probably not really a second Second coming of Satan, TP. <laughs> wait, I thought that I thought the second coming of Satan. Wait, 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 drop. Okay. Oh, okay, Where's so. That? Oh, just draw a card. I'm and, then draw, and then draw two for every <laughs> one of her in the, in, in the discard pile. Okay, just use, use her all up. This one, three, five, seven. Yep. Oh my god. Okay, I swear the Literally. underground looks like that one girl from that Explorer anime. Yeah. But, uh, I don't know what the name of it is, but she looks remarkably similar. Yep. But we ha also have ourselves some Team Yell Grunts and some Team Skull Grunts. Cousins of each other. Yep. Yeah. Oh, we know what fan But... There's some Team Rocket's handiwork, Team Flare Grunts, Tate and Liza, a card that also is commonly used in competitive. Tate and Liza? Yep, Tate and Liza. Leafy on live, I don't get what that joke is supposed to imply, but I'll call that a miss. <laughs> yep. Uh, there's Steven's Resolve, Sophocles, and my girl Rainbow Sonia. Uh. Hello. Oh, my. 
I have the Fallout one as well. And ladies and gentlemen, appropriately enough, behold, the very first the best, thank you. The very first full art supporter I ever pulled. Uh is it Tate and Liza? Uh no. Oh no. I gotta wait. Th think Jordan, who do you think would actually be the first full art supporter I'd ever pull? Guzma. Mm -hmm. Um Cynthia? Nope. Even better. Diantha? Guzma and Cynthia. Oh, Skyla! Skyla! <laughs> I'm an idiot. Yes. Yeah, this yeah, this is the very first full art supporter I pulled. And for those of you wondering, like, why I am so madly in love with Skyla, primarily the TCG is to thank for it, because this card has saved my butt on countless occasions. And not gonna lie, that drawing is sexy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, she's just stretching. I also, I also have sex because look at that curve. It's very well done. Oh, yeah. This, honestly, is probably one of my favorite fall arts. Like, it's just, it's so dynamic and great. You know what? I'd agree with you. Yeah. But yeah, so what it allows, what this allows you to do is you search your deck for a trainer card, reveal it, and then you put it in your hand. Now, there are times where I was, where I needed to get my momentum back in order to claim victory. Only for me to top deck Skyla and then search my deck for the very thing I needed to win the game. I love this girl so much. And on top of that, it's also given me a number of other instances where, uh, I swear, I feel like me and Skyla are just faded. Because Skyla actually has two different full arts. Yeah. Yep, and I have both of them. The interesting thing about this one, I wanted the other Skyla just because, you know, the principle of the whole thing i wanted all the skylas but uh the funny thing about this is that you know i saw it online i had enough money to get it i went to order it and then when i got it delivered they sent me the wrong full art skyla they yeah they actually sent me this one the one that i already had so i went to the person who sent it to me on amazon and i said so i uh, you sent me the wrong skyla i ordered the other full art one and they sent me a message saying oh i'm sorry my bad uh did you want yourself a refund or something and i thought yeah i guess i could do for a refund so they gave me my money back and then i ordered uh that's how i got my hands on the tate and liza and a couple of other cards that i put in this binder but on top of that when i got those cards ordered to me they sent me this one for free oh uh i guess we'll see that soon yeah but, yeah uh this yeah this full art skyla well no i'm holding it right now like this full art skyla in particular they sent me this one for free stream delay please why can't youtube be like twitch and have you know in nigh instantaneous chat interaction because that would imply youtube cares about its audience Shut YouTube down. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, not only has Skyla saved my butt on a number of occasions, I got this full art for free. I I'm telling you, there's, there's something between me and Skyla. There's a connection. It would explain a lot of things. It's official. I'm drawing a portrait of Twilight, and she'll be in that stretching Skyla pose for Oh, no. Oh, shit. Oh, uh, no. Hmm. Super crazy crasher. You can't do that to me. You can't. <laughs> just... Mm. Like, that's kind of his baby. N no, not even just that, but just, just the fact that I'll be looking at her like, oh, th that's his Skyla pose. Yeah. <laughs> I, I love Skyla so much. Give me all the Skyla things. Your plushie's coming soon. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh my god. I love you, bro. I, I love you too, bro. <laughs> yeah, I need to get them. We... You're gay, bro. You're gay, bro. Uh, we stand <laughs> Skyla in this stream, and this is why she, she gives me good luck. She actually does. Yeah. She's helped him on more than one occasion. It's crazy. <laughs> uh, on top of that, um, honestly... If I'm to give the black and white anime some credit, 
I like the idea that they were going to have with Skyla. It's just a shame that they kind of shit on her throughout the episode. Yeah, um, wasn't it the one where she was debating on, um, quitting being a gym leader? Because, uh, after a while, it just wasn't doing it for her anymore. Yeah. And she wanted to move on to bigger, better things. Yeah, and, you know, she had a... Yeah, and she had... And she had more fun... Oh! Uh, Lucario Wolf Omega X, uh, made a lifetime commitment. Thank you. Huh? Uh, nice. yeah, they cool. subscri Yeah, I got a new subscriber. Uh, plot twist, Greninja gets a regional variant, and it's a flying dark tech. Oh, please. Me, me and Skyla both using Greninjas. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, uh, you were saying? But yeah, as I was saying, yeah, uh, she had more of an interest in, uh, high flying shows. Like, she wanted to be a, she wanted to, do, uh, be a, she wanted to be a stunt woman. And, like, she had more love for that, but then you had someone like Sila go up to her and be like, abandoning your, you, abandoning your responsibilities as a gym leader is irresponsible. You can't do that, you know. Says the, a gym leader. Yeah, you know, says the guy who abandoned his gym to travel with Ash. So, yeah, okay. And didn't Iris technically do the same thing? Or is she just a tra trainer in this, in I, this I, I think she was anime. just a trainer. I don't think she was a gym leader. Okay. But and yeah, um, but yeah, idiot. like, what a hypocrite! Yeah, and like, um, <laughs> let Skyla live her life. She yeah, like I was about to say, what a crime! Uh, what uh, what a crime that Skyla just wants to you know move on and do something she actually loves instead of something that she's talented in, but she's getting bored of yeah. it. And, yeah, and uh, the other thing too, it's not even just me that also really fell in love with Skyla in the car game. She is a very popular card that was commonly run in many decks. Uh, I'm not familiar with Skyla in the TCG, but I am familiar with her. I am familiar with her in Pokemon Masters because yeah, uh, I still play the game. Yeah, uh, I, yeah. And currently, uh, you're, she and currently uh, the sync pair of Skyla and. Uh, and uh, Swan are actually top tier. Yeah. It's it's, beca it's because it's because it's because um, with the addition of her um sync grid, her uh her healing capabilities were greatly improved. Not only can she like constantly restock on uh on potions, which is one of the ma best ways to heal, but like the amount that she can heal herself has been improved as well. I have no idea what you're talking about. I, I swear, again, me and Skyla just have a destiny. Like Melly and I have a destiny. Like it's, she's top tier in Pokemon Masters. She's a top tier supporter of the TCG. And the best part is the recent set Rebels Clash reprinted her! <laughs> Brian Reeves. Uh -huh. <laughs> which, mean, which means she'll be legal. Yes! I can use these two full arts again! So as long as the card is like... So as long as the card is, um... Not, not like the, uh... Not like the shinies from the, uh... Hidden Fates collection. Yeah, okay, so... Be, they... Yeah, like, uh, if... Yeah, like, say, like, uh, this card, yeah, this card got reprinted in, uh, the Rebels Clash set, uh, it is a Skyla supporter, and it has the exact same effect. If it has the same name and the effect, it doesn't matter if the version you use is from a previous set, so long as there's a version of it still in the standard format, you can use it. That includes the, uh, shiny versions of the, of the, uh, previous cards, right? Yep. Awesome. I mean, granted, probably not anymore, but... Yeah, well, it's... The only requirements is that the card has to have the exact same name and the exact same effect. And so, Skyla has the exact same name and the exact same effect. Yeah, I, I know we've been hanging on Skyla here for a while here, but you guys don't understand the amount of history I've had with both of these supporters. <laughs> and just this character oh. in general. <laughs> this is also a story time stream, so... Yet, I love Skyla so much. Don't stop reprinting. And she loves you. And don't stop reprinting her, please. Don't stop reprinting. Uh, uh, I'm I'm sorry, Skyla. I, I'll have to. I'll 
I'll come back to you another time, but right now, I'm going to show off some more things in the binder, starting with uh, a supporter that honestly should have been out sooner. Full art, Shauna. Oh, yeah. Uh, she was actually, yeah, her effect was actually like a mini Cynthia, but instead of shuffling your hand and drawing six, you shuffled your hand and drew five. Okay, so Cynthia on a diet. Yeah, but it was still pretty good during that time. Just because that was still not just a hand refresh, but also draw power. Oh. And here's a Sabrina's suggestion. And, and here's we my suggestion. Fail. And also, full art Rosa. Rosa, she who, still talks if to it hadn't romance. been for Pokemon Masters, wouldn't be as popular as she is now. <laughs> well, that's what you get when you have a po when you have a fair, a, a surprisingly iconic thinking pose. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, I thought you were gonna say something else. <laughs> By the way, I love this what, art. What were, you, what were you expecting me to say? Boobs? Yeah. I'll... Like, uh, why would you say that? She's like 12 or something. By the way, I love this art for full art Professor Sycamore. It's so wholesome. Uh, give it a sec. There it is. Wait, no. Uh, there it is. <laughs> Chespin's just tackling him. Yeah, Chespin, give hug, and then Sycamore drop research. No, the notes. And now, here is a uh, full art professor's research featuring Professor Magnolia. Hmm? Okay, God right. damn, the stream delay sucks. It's not your fault, Brian. It's more YouTube's. It's always YouTube's fault. It always is YouTube's fault. Yeah, there's Rainbow Magnolia. And we also there she is. Yep. And we also have ourselves a full art Professor Kukui with his chest exposed as it should. Mm-hmm. So, uh, actually, um, how are you? How are you ordering the supporter cards? Alphabetically. Um, alphabetically. That's what I. That's what I figured. Yeah. So yeah, Kukui with a with a, a chest you could uh, grill a roast on. You probably could actually. Yep. And Professor Elm's lecture uh, is also a fuller that I really do like. I think I remember liking it too. Whenever I hear Magnolia, I can't help but think of Fairy Tale. Uh, I still need to get the game. You mean no one's gotten it for you yet? Uh, no. And before you get any ideas, Jordan. Uh-huh, uh-huh, and... Jordan, you already gave me a Skyla <laughs> no, push! No. Stop! Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> I'll hold off. For now. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> Look at the Johto starters! They're nice, I love them. Toledo's my favorite. Yep. And then there's this guy right next to it, which uh, automatically gives it the worst kind of vibe. Oh god, I'm looking at Professor Elm's face! <laughs> oh god! <laughs> this is sometimes why I love ordering some of these full art supporters. You get some of the best side-by-side -side imagery. Yeah. It's like they tell a story all on their own. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> full art, oh god, full art Pokemania! Holy shit! <laughs> so, can I have the Cyndaquil? No, you cannot have Can the Cyndaquil! Can you finish this to yourself? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I know that's a normal generalization of what a furry is. <laughs> uh, so we have Pokemon Ranger. Uh, uh, so, Game Freak, when are we going to get another Pokemon Ranger game? I never played Pokemon Ranger. Yeah, Pokemon. Fan club. Get out. What? I never played it. <laughs> it's like, oh. how could you not play it? I didn't. Also, Jordan, here's a Pokemon breeder with a very special Pokemon. Uh, 
uh, trying to see it. I I like to think that the Pokemon Rangers are actually against the uh, are actually against the uh, Pokemaniac. <laughs> they think he's too much of a problem. Uh, you're under arrest. <sighs> Okay, you're under arrest too, because that's a mill tank. <laughs> Wait, here. Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> Wait, here, here, no... here, Jordan. I'll Whitney make it better. And... Whitney and mill tank are not a problem. Yes, I'm... they are. They have caused me so much shit in the past, and it's get good. very easy for me to get triggered. Wait, you know here, Jordan. I, I... Hope this, I hope this makes you feel better. Yeah, I know that I could have just gone in with the biting type, but I didn't know that as a kid, so I'm gonna bitch! <laughs> Plumeria! Yep. Okay. Anger and, is uh, gone. Also, um, thing. Olivia, may I remind you, this art is for a children's card game. Uh... I guess we're gonna see in a few seconds. Yeah, here, I'll, I'll take her out just so you all can get a... Get a nice good look at uh this whammon. Whammon. <laughs> That's what Plumeria is, she's a whammon. Yeah, yeah. Oh, hey Olivia. Yeah, daily reminder, this artwork was made for a children's card game. Yeah, Olivia's kind of very attractive for a Pokemon character. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. It's just um I love your guys' live chat videos. Oh, thank you. Thanks. And now we have uh, Full Art and Rainbow Oleana. Okay, so I should have mentioned this back when uh, we saw it with Sonya, but, you know, I kind of wanted to get to uh, geeking out and gushing over Skyla for a bit because she was up next. But starting with the Sword and Shield set, uh, how they handle their supporters is that they make a Full Art and they also have a Rainbow version of them. Huh. Ooh. So even they get rainbows. Yeah. Uh, the funny thing, though, is that as of late, the full art supporters have actually been going for more money than the rainbow ones. What the fuck? That doesn't make sense. Well, see, there's actually a reason why. Because people... And honestly, I can kind of agree with it a bit. People actually like the full arts more because there's just far more effort put into them. Like, it's not just the character portraits, but they actually include backgrounds this time. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas the rainbow I'll one, it's it. like, whereas the rainbow ones is like, well, yeah, they're very pretty and glittery. They don't have a background on them. Here's a full art Nanu. Here's an N, who is offering you his hand in friendship. That's cool. And, uh, full Poor art. Kid. He's been. He hasn't been dealt a very nice hand. And now we have full art Morgan. I would not be surprised okay. if any of you forgot who these trainers were and if the, if they ever existed. Uh, Morgan okay. sounds familiar. The battle traveling. Okay, I am. I'm trying to reset this. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, the eldest sister. Yeah. Sorry, uh, I'm sorry, Cassie. What was that you were saying? I am trying to watch the stream, but it's just freezing up. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, maybe refresh the page. I did. Still pretty um, slow. I'm sorry, hon. It's okay. It's just page is like... It's just that YouTube is being really damn weird. Yeah. Uh, yep, and here is Why a... Why isn't it being weird? Uh, here is a... Uh, oh, there goes my pro controller. <laughs> uh, oh. here is a full art Molane, and... This is a card, but when I first got it, I had to do a lot of double takes just because I swear it felt like the hand was drawn awkwardly. Hmm? Yeah, more oh. yeah, more specifically the left hand, like down here. It just doesn't look right to me. Hmm? Uh, let's see. Uh... Looks like he's grabbing on some someone else's hand. Yeah, but like, uh, hold on. Let me try to get the camera more steady. But yeah, like, yeah, see yeah, like I'm looking at. It, it's like, I swear, it feels like, it feels like his wrist is just super long. Yeah, it kind of does. Let's see. 
And uh, now, Jordan, for you, we have some Misties. Uh, Jordan Beerbead. All right. Yeah, you. <laughs> remember, if you ever feel bad about your art, remember this. At least you're not Butch Hartman. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. At, at least none of these cards cost me $200 to get. Oh, yeah. That was, like, dumb. I was like, wow. Yep. We now have a... We now have a Nita and a Mina. And Nina. And Maxie's hidden ball trick. What? Maxie? Yep. I thought it was like I thought it was Max for a moment, I was like, wait, what? Nope. Maxie's just thinking. And here oh. we have here we have a Mars. And oh, yeah. yep, and we have two Marnies. Oh, cool! Yep, the full art and the rainbow one. Which, funny enough, the rainbow Marnie is the first rainbow I've ever pulled from the Sword and Shield set. Oh dang! And the best part is, I pulled her at a pre-release. Awesome. Yeah. And then I'd pull another one like a couple of weeks later. But uh that one uh that one's been traded off. All these Pokemon cards are weird. <laughs> uh -oh. And then here is full uh, art yeah. Mallow. Marnie? Uh no Mallow. I see Marnie. Uh y yeah, sh uh you see Marnie on stream, but you'll see Mallow eventually. Okay. Uh, Jordan is on BRB. <laughs> oh, there she is. Oh, God. Next to Lysander Prism Star. Lysander is just like, give me the goods, Mallow. Okay. How much do you want? I want all of it. All of it? All of it. In the same pot? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> God. My theater is so weird. Cook me a feast that will Mega Evolve even the one Pokemon that cannot Mega Evolve. Alright, sounds good. Coming right up. Yes. This is the type of shit we work. It, it's, broccoli <laughs> it's broccoli soup. It's broccoli soup. And then you have Loose Meat over here just laughing at Lysander. It's gonna be broccoli soup. <laughs> Like, I don't know the other too. Like, loose to me, it's even doing the whole ho 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 ho. I'm sorry. I get excited when that shit happens, okay? That kind of excites me. Oh, when characters do that kind of pose? Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. That's funny. Wait, wait, what, what about that pose? Uh, loose to me, it's doing the ho ho ho. Oh, kind of pose. I just done that. And what? What? That. And what does it make you? What? What were you saying about? Uh, about, about that pose? It makes me feel. It just makes me laugh for some reason. I don't know why. It it's gives. Like, it's so dominant. Yeah, it gives Cassie feelings. Or it's like a, it, it, it's a troll. A, it's like a troll thing. And speaking Absolutely. of the Lucimines. I have two full arts of them, one of them as herself, and one as the hentai monster. Oh yeah, tentacle porno. <laughs> and yeah, you can tell the like, uh... And the face... God, the and the face that Lucimine makes, it's like, I will fucking eat you. Oh my god. Uh, so, I mean, it's kind of her... Well, it is like, getting her, uh, her... Like... It is her, like, vital instincts. It's like her, you know, aggressive instincts kind of mocked up to 11. Yeah. Also, so she goes crazy. Yep. Also, see a super crazy crasher. Hey! But, uh, yeah. I... <coughs> Excuse me. So, Lusamine had a really fun ability that I liked going around... Liked uh, playing around with. Because uh, Lucimine's effect is that 
Uh, you can put two in any combination of supporter and stadium cards from your disc part card pile into your hand. That also counted for Lucimine herself. So you could technically infinitely recycle Nicole Lucimine over and over and over again to have infinite use of, of your supporters. Here's, uh, here's, and now here's David Tennant. Hmm? Uh, Looker. Oh, yeah. I think he's gonna show up and start chill for some reason. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, because it's like, come on. He literally looks like Doctor Who. <laughs> yeah, that's why I call him David Tennant. And here's Lima. And then, uh, there's Alicia. And my lilies! All the lilies. Yep, lilies full force, and the two full art lilies. And then here's Lance. Lance? Yep. Lance and, and uh, his clearly hacked Dragonites. Oh yeah. And here's Lana. Lady and Karina. Oh, cool. Yeah, this is another one whose art that I really do like. It's it's another one of those instances where not only is it a very dynamic pose, but the lighting is really good. Uh, next we have Koga's Trap, as he is a ninja. Kiawe and Karen. <sighs> okay, I'm back. Hey. Karen. Yep. Yeah. Oh, uh, no. We have a Karen card. No! <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah. Uh, full art Karen. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. You have Kahili and. Oh my god! It's Ida Tanya! Oh, yeah, K Karen from uh, Gen 2. <laughs> yeah, yeah her name unfortunately has some bad connotations to it now. Yeah. Doctor Who and fucking Pokemon, guys. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, look, it's uh, Ida Tenya from My Hero Academia. <laughs> oh, it is. It <laughs> is Ida. Uh, so, Judge. Or as Boon Slayer likes to call it, the no fun card. Yeah. So, judge. Yeah. Uh, God damn it. <laughs> yeah, that's that is a common joke that goes around with like uh, competitive TCG because for like any card game that has like a competitive scene around it, you have judges who overlook the matches. And for Pokemon, I can't tell you how many times like some people like get a misconception whenever someone plays this card because they say they play. Because when they put it down, they say judge, and a judge will think they're being called over. Like, oh no, I'm playing the card judge. And are you, why are you re retweeting boobs? But, uh... This artist I follow is <laughs> retweeting boobs for some reason. Sorry. Maybe but... you need artistic reference? Probably. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. But also, uh... There's nothing wrong with boobs, it's just... <laughs> but, uh, the reason why... Oh, yeah. The reason why Judge is called the no fun card is because both players have to shuffle their hand and draw four, so you can disrupt somebody's hand entirely. Oh god. But also, I just noticed Jesse and James, and speaking of that, I think they're in Pokemon Masters right now. Yeah. Wait, Jesse and James are in Pokemon Masters? Yeah, and the else, and it's great. <laughs> I'm looking for somebody that they only speak Japanese. Uh, Wait, what? Yeah. They, they probably they just don't, they, they probably just don't have English voices for him yet. Yeah, because of quarantine. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's weird. Yeah. Uh, the <laughs> one, th uh, like, I will say this. One of my awesome plays I had with Judge, and this, uh, yeah, this is another instance of my friend Alex fucking hated me. <laughs> when doesn't he hate you? <laughs> Where, um, so he was running a Dusk, he was running a Dusk main deck. And he was, uh, he was about to set up to getting his Magnezo out on the field, as well as getting energy out to start putting, putting onto his Pokemon. 
with uh, with his Magmite's attack magnet surge because that's all he could do that turn. I played all the things that I needed to, and then I said, and now I play Judge. And he just looks at me and he's like, I fucking hate you. <laughs> he, he had to take that hand that he had ready to set up for a magnet zone and shuffle it back into his deck. <laughs> <laughs> and now, Jordan, we get to uh, one of your special ladies. Um, is it Cynthia? Um, not yet. No. I guess I'll have to wait until the stream catches up. Yep, but uh, I will say, I recall you telling me you had a crush on this character. Um, fuck, 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 fuck. Wait. Wait, Jasmine! Yeah, Jasmine! Yep. I used to love her growing up. Jasmine is a sweetheart. She really is. Yeah. And, yeah. I, yeah. and look at the burst of confidence she has on her face. Poor Yeah. Yep. And there's Janine, and there's also Ingo and Emmett. She has a big forehead. Oh, uh, Janine or Jasmine? Both. <laughs> they have big yep. foreheads. Yep. Here's Hex Maniac. Wait, I'm check from X and Y. Oh. Yeah. Uh, the card that uh got banned from the expanded format, and it did not deserve it. Also, how are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing fantastic. Thank you for asking how. <laughs> oh. Yeah, him and his him and his pancake rat. Oh. Rat. Okay, <laughs> that's uncalled for. <laughs> and then here's Big Boy Hala. Big Boy Hala. Oh yeah, it's appropriate. How appropriate. And, uh, here's actually an instance of Tag Team Supporters. And this is a tag team between Guzma and Hala. Does that actually make sense, considering that it's post-game? Yeah. You know, hold on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn the light on in this room. There you go. It's much better Guzma here. Absolutely loved running this card. In fact, I had a philosophy back when uh, this was standard legal. If your deck was not running Guzma, you were doing it wrong. <laughs> and there is another version of Full Art Guzma from the Hidden Fate set, but I don't have it and I want it so bad. So the art in question has Guzma with his back turned to the camera with uh, the red X on the back of his jacket, and he's just pointing to it. It looks so cool. <laughs> and then here's Gladion, who is suffering from arthritis. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, this is... This is... Oh. <laughs> yeah, just look at <laughs> this <laughs> edgelord. <laughs> I mean, why he does, does he do that again? He wants to is he like a, charging up for a super super saiyan form or? It's the oh, it's. Off, and he, it, he's actually literally called an edgelord. I can't hear you. What? In the art book, he's actually called an edgelord. He's actually called an emo. Oh my <laughs> fucking god! Okay, I thought I thought you were trying to say something about his hand. Oh god, Chidori! Y you know what? It does look like Gladius trying to charge for a Chidori. So, uh, hey, Killer Shadow. Uh, we're go uh, we're going over the full art supporters in this binder. And here we have Giovanni's Exile. Yeah, there's a child support Giovanni. Yep. Uh, there's Fisherman and also Gardenia. Oh. I'm sure they get spiked by any, uh, cactus. Yep. Gardenia is cute. Very cute. Bring her back. Please. 
And there's a fucking fisherman with those sticks no. in the cart. This I... fucker. Yeah. Oh, Baba. The bitch. Fucking Baba. Baba bitch. And he became a magical girl. Oh, and Evelyn! Yeah, Evelyn. She's, she's my favorite. She's my favorite battle Shadowin. Yeah, actually, uh, fun enough. Me and Jordan have actually come up with like our own head cannon backstories to like uh, the battle Shadowin. Oh yeah, we did. Yeah, like yeah. Morgan was the Morgan being the oldest was uh the more up was uh she was the more headstrong competitive battler and we could argue like she was the one who taught the other three how to battle in Pokemon. Yeah. Uh, oh. Evelyn's the hero type. Yeah, e e yeah. Evelyn is big mom energy who really who wants to help new trainers grow stronger. Um. Uh, Nita was the plucky youngest sister. Yeah. Who knows more than she lets on. Yep. And Dana is the uh, and Dana is the more straightforward one. Yeah. And also. Erica's hospitality. It's the best hospitality. Yeah. This was another card that was also commonly ran because it gave you insane draw power. So you could only use it if in your hand you had four or fewer cards. But once you did and you played Erica's hospitality, you drew from your deck or up to how many... A Pokemon that your opponent have in play. So if your opponent has six Pokemon in play, you drew six cards. And next we get to my Fairy Queen. Woo! Oh, uh, nope, Diantha. <laughs> I thought that it was Opal. L She's listen, the queen. I think Opal is cool and all, but Diantha is the queen. But it's true. Fairy queen. <laughs> no, Opal's the knight. Diantha's the queen. Yeah. You don't mess with them. I'm surprised that we didn't get like. You know, one thing I love about like the fact that we have now of uh, for our fairy type gym leaders that some of them are being assholes in a sense of beta. Yeah. Which shows fairy asshole, fairies were dicks. Yeah. By the way, I, lo I love the delinquent full art. Well, Valerie's nice. No, it's but the delinquent's pretty cool. Yeah. And here is Cyrus. <gasps> Hello. I'm going my to re reshape the world into my image. I freaking love Cyrus. You know he's man. coming. Probably my favorite. Probably one of my favorite Pokemon villains. Just honestly, with him, it's like interesting. Stop! It is pointless. Boop. Moda, 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 moda. And then he falls asleep. Yep. <laughs> but now, Jordan, the moment you've been waiting for. Uh, okay. Because following Cyrus. Uh. Oh, it's Cynthia. Cynthia! Finally! And not just Cynthia, her tag team was Cynthia and Caitlyn. Cynthia and Caitlyn! The Those two are totally girlfriends. There's no way you can convince me otherwise. They're absolute lesbos. Actually, lesbos. Actually, no, it's not... Actually, it kind of makes sense considering, you know, Catherine, uh, Caitlyn's past, considering she is one of the, um, frontier brains yeah. in Sido. Yeah. Yeah, she was uh, working for the Frontier Brains, and then she became a champion. She became um, one of the Elite Four in Unova, which yeah. is a huge leap. Yeah. I'm proud of her. And she's best friends with Cynthia. Yeah, yeah, quote unquote yeah. best friends. We know there's more going on. They're girlfriends, oh, so like, totally. Uh, also, also, uh, there's, there's a reason why Cynthia was staying at her uh, villa in Gen Five, and it's not because she needed a place to stay. Yeah. Also. This full art Cynthia in particular, both her Lucario and, believe it or not, Garchomp are shiny. Oh, cool. Yeah. Ah, Cynthia, I love you. But you know what, Jordan? Here's another full art Cynthia for you. <gasps> another one? 
Yeah, Cynthia got two full arts. Yeah. Of course she did. <laughs> Also, can I just say, Cynthia with black uh, fingernail polish is just beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. C Cynthia is also another instance where I will tell a person, if you're running a deck without Cynthia, you're doing it wrong. She yeah. was played in literally every single deck. Okay, you know what, actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull this one out, actually, for a bit, because, yeah, I do have something interesting with this one, because I was on the, I was on the hunt for this one, with, uh, when it came to the Ultra Prism set, because I was missing every other, I was getting every other smaller supporter, but I did not have this one, and of course, during the time, this card was like a hundred dollars. It's, Holy shit. It's definitely gone down nowadays, uh, primarily due to the rotation, but it's still pretty pricey. It's like, I want to say around $40 it's not worth. Mounty, it's not very effective. It's super effective. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I was actually at work when I was pulling, like, when I got an Elite Trader box to start pulling some packs, and the minute I pulled this, I was screaming frantically, and some of the people, like, some of the people, like, before I clocked in, they were run walking by the break room, they're like, what the fuck happened here? What's going on? <laughs> so, yeah, I, I was so happy to have pulled this. And, yeah, she, uh, Cynthia remained a, uh, pretty much a mandatory card for multiple decks like for like many many years Ooh. for a good reason not yeah. just because she's popular yeah oh no because cynthia was it was really good you shuffled your hand and then you drew six cards so it was a hand refresh and draw power yeah oh uh, you know what i'm waiting for for the gen 4 reboot yeah i can't wait to beat the shit out of cynthia with a fairy type because fuck her spirit too <laughs> I'm sure she has a few tricks up her sleeve. Honestly, I w I would be surprised if um they completely change her team around. Well, actually, you know, actually, just to fuck with players. Well, actually, no. Cynthia already had an answer for that. It's called Roserade. Yeah, Roserade. Yeah, Roserade because it's a poison type. Yeah, Cynthia's just a well thought out gym lead. Uh, uh, champion. Uh, cha I mean, <laughs> champion. I champion. I was trying to find the word. Thank you. Um, yeah. it just wasn't coming out. Um, actually, actually, I think I remember that when it came down to uh, Leon's team, I actually noticed that he was just missing a fairy type, and his team would have been pretty good. But with Cynthia, she has an answer for pretty much everyone. Um, because, yeah, she's just also, basically another trainer like you. That's what made her so challenging and memorable. Also, yeah. a reminder, and also a quick reminder, uh... You, you all realize that uh, Cynthia also has a Lucario. Yeah, she does. And Lucario yeah. can learn Steel type attacks. Yeah, yep. I know, I know. Yeah, it's it's steel. When... yeah, I know, I know that. It's just the fact that it's like, you know, because we didn't have fairy types before Gen around the time we did four, but if they remake Gen eight, then yeah, you would have Pokemon oh, that have that can have fairy type moves. She does have a fairy type. Yeah, to yeah uh, Togekiss. Togekiss. Yeah, and, Togekiss, yeah. Yeah, and also, um, Cassie, who's to say that Cynthia doesn't pull the big brain tactic where she throws out her guard chop against your fairy and then uses gunk shot? She also has an Electros in uh, Gen 5. Yeah, or, uh, wait, no, not gunk shot, uh, poison jab. Yeah, but if it's only, like, using the original team for a remake, then, yeah. I mean, honestly, I mean, if, uh, if, uh, if and when they do a Gen 4 remake, I hope they don't change her design. Cynthia's literally perfect. The way she looks. I, I, I mean, I mean, I mean, I'm gonna- Perfect. I'm gonna- I'm gonna say this about, uh, how they did teams in, uh, for at least Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, uh, they, Steven, like, Steven, the previous champion, didn't have the same, uh, team, like, no, not 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 one to one. Like it wasn't like, okay, he had maybe similar strategies, but he was not the same. Yeah, it, it wasn't one to one. He had 
uh, his team more accommodated for. Uh... I just want to. I think a design that I hope gets changed is the fucking Team Galactic. Seriously, those designs are fucking weird. Oh yeah, here's a copycat. Right. Oh. Wait, is that Chris? Yeah. But uh, it's copycat dressed as Chris. Oh, I thought it was. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Or hang on. It's the no, 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 no. Hang on. Oh, uh, it is. From, uh, it is. The second on in the post game Pokemon. I think she's dressed as Ethan, Pokemon? actually. No. Well, no. no, no, uh, no yeah, no, she, she has. Let yeah, me... she has Ethan's clothes. Let me double check. Oh yeah, no. I was. I was. Let me double check. I wasn't looking. I wasn't looking. I wasn't looking. Uh, okay, also, so... Also, here is Bridget. Yeah, she has oh. Ethan's hat and, uh, vest, and, uh, I think Chris's pants? And hair color? Yeah. Also, hi, Bridget! This is another one that, uh, yeah, this, uh, this, this is for a children's card game. Yeah, she's wearing game. a mishmash. No, this, yeah, this, hmm. is, this is for a children's card game. Yeah. I want to go on a date with her. <laughs> I mean, you certainly could, and, you know, she'd be uh, perfectly fine with bringing a couple of assets. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> uh, have a Rainbow Boss's Orders featuring Giovanni. Giovanni says gay rights. <laughs> hey, I he may be a villain, but he stands for equality. Yeah, well, I guess he, well, I guess he's not so bad after all. I may be a supervillain, but I'm an American supervillain. Yep. And here's Bonnie. Daughter material. Uh, yep. And uh, uh, this card was literally only made to serve as a support for Zygarde GX. Here's Blue's Tactics, telling you to smell you later, and Blaine's Last Stand. Blaine's Last Stand. Yep. Here's, a black oh, yeah. Here's a blacksmith with his amber. <laughs> Boss's orders, communism? <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? Bill's Maintenance. Here's Rainbow Bitch. Rainbow Bitch. <laughs> Oh, is it bead? Yep. Is it bead? Yeah. Wait, the bitch? Yep. I have bead, a... bead is a bitch. Thinking? Yep, I got a rainbow oh, and a full art. Oh, there is a bitch. Yep. Motherfucker. Move, bitch. Get out the way. I use, uh... Poison jab. <laughs> <laughs> and here's Tony Stark with his patch rat. What? Tony, why would you ever have a patch rat? Seriously, <laughs> this guy looks like Tony Stark. He, he does, does, honestly. He, he does look like Tony Stark. Uh, let's go lab rat, honestly. <laughs> and here's Stark. Where did you get here? Also, here is Az. It's been three thousand years. Hobo man. Mm -hmm. Hobo man. Yep. Also, uh. Apricorn Maker. Apparently, this is Kurt. I think. Uh, hang on. It needs to get over there. Hmm? This delay sucks. I can't be Kurt. <laughs> hang on. Let me let me refresh the page. There That's he is. Okay. That is not Kurt. <laughs> Well, it's a uh, Apricorn Maker, so he no, is no. not Kurt. <laughs> you know what? No, he's the one who he's the one who messed with the Cramomatic and made sure that the Apricorn balls didn't come out right. Oh, he's responsible. Oh fuck! He was the he was the sabotager. <laughs> He's, if, yeah, he's the one who sabotaged the whole process. If I if I sabotage the Cramomatic, they'll come to me for business. <laughs> So they'll get their apricorn balls, <laughs> but they won't have their cake and eat it too. <laughs> you run up to him. I, I, it's like I, I, I didn't, I didn't sabotage the crabomatic. <laughs> I have no knowledge of the sabotage. <laughs> There's a uh, Aether Foundation employees and uh, Acerola. She is baby. 
Okay. Is that in my coma? <laughs> Ace to roll at his baby. Kurt versus Prickert. Who's Prickert? <laughs> Is that his name? I don't know. Now, so yeah, these are all the Fuller supporters, but we're still not kind of done yet because we have these special trainer cards, some secret rares of them. Uh, oh my god. Yep, we have Prism Stadiums, as well as some gold stadium cards like Mount Coronet. Yeah, this is this is one that was commonly run with uh Dusk Maid Necrozma. Here's uh the martial Go arts back, yep. here's a gold martial arts dojo. We have some other prisms like Life Forest, the Heat Factory. We have a gold giant hearth. Uh, um, bl black market prism and a gold versus seeker. Now, uh, hold on, let me get you out of your pouch because me obtaining this one was actually kind of funny. Oh, so um, <laughs> let me begin again with uh, uh, tw uh, 50 reasons why Alex sometimes fucking hates me. <laughs> <laughs> it makes me wonder uh, how you guys are friends. It's like, we're cool and all. It's just, you know, uh, whenever we do say we hate each other, we don't actually mean it. Okay. But it's That's like, okay. okay, so after, like, I was, I think it was either I was uh, helping him test run a deck or I was, uh, or I managed to, uh, I was able to get him, like, some certain cards for him to actually build a deck. He decided, you know, to thank me. He actually bought me a couple of packs from Roaring Skies. And then the last pack that I opened was this Gold Versus Seeker. And he got so upset. <laughs> That's just what I... Yeah. Yeah. L l l l well, you see, it's like this. I've told this to BJ before, and he was in full agreement with it. It's like, it's one thing. When, like, you're opening a bunch of booster packs and you get nothing, and then somebody else is, like, he buys a couple of packs, but they suddenly pull something really good. It's like, okay. It's like, yeah, you get a bit upset because you're like, man, I wish I had good pulls like that. It's another thing when that pack is in your hands, and then you give it to someone else. Because <laughs> that cart could have been yours. It could have been yours, but no, you gave the pack away. Actually, uh, if I can quickly go back to the full art supporters, uh, there was one other card that that happened with that again Alex got so upset because he was he was the ad insult to injury. He was on the hunt for this card. So yeah, like he was desperate. Yeah, he was desperately on the hunt for this one in particular. And then, you know, after I did some trades with him, he gave me some booster packs as a as a payment back. And I pulled this, and like so, um, uh, Alex, uh, I don't know what to say, but I got this for one of the packs that you gave me. And he's like, "Are you fucking kidding me?" Alright, um, I, I need to cook dinner, so I'll be right back. Okay. Alright, see ya. Alright. Alright. Now for some Is other- everyone leaving? Uh, nah, just Jordan. And he's gonna be okay. back, though. But, uh, here are some okay. other gold cards. Like, U-Turn Board. And- Starting with the Sword and Shield set, they actually kind of changed the foil for uh, the gold cards, where they're now covered in glitter, even the borders. So they're nice and extra sparkly. Oh, cool. Tag team switch. Switch.
Twitch Raft, Reset Stamp. There's Rescue Stretcher, Rare Candy, Random Receiver, Pokemon Communicator. Here's a Poke Gear. I've actually pulled this one a couple of times, and I did end up trading one of them to Alex. So uh, he, I think he has one of them now. There's oh, cool. a peeking red card. There's a net ball. It's too bad we're losing this, so grass decks are going to kind of suffer. The only exception that being uh, Rillaboom, because Rillaboom is uh, super good in TCG right now. There's... Rillaboom, yes! Yep. Uh, Nest ball. And hey, TP! Mysterious treasure, you remember this one? Ah. Uh... <laughs> I summoned so many Naganadels with this thing. Oh my god. Now you're grounded. <laughs> so many Naganadels. And uh, there's Missing Clover. Uh, Metal Saucer. Here's some Metal Goggles. And to fit more with some more things, uh, metal core barrier. So much metal. And now max potion. Some lost blender. Lily's poke doll. It's a little, it's a little quaveri. We have Life Herb, Karate Belt, Giant Bomb! What? Yeah, you can just attach a bomb to your Pokemon. Suicide Bomber. <laughs> Yo, could you imagine if there was an actual tool card like this, the tool like this that you could just attach to your Pokemon like in the main games? Like, so I just strapped a bomb to my Pokemon. <laughs> oh, God! That is... I, I can picture it. <laughs> I probably attach it onto like, uh, I don't know. Like, music. Yeah, put put it on an exploder and it's like, double explosions! Make a name, they move. Yeah, you know, for kids, yeah, turn your Pokemon to Suicide Bombers in a children's card game. <laughs> God, that is some crazy yeah. shit. Here is an escape rope. And oh. in a, and in a skateboard. It is a skateboard with fucking rocket jets. <laughs> and we are losing this car during the rotation. So, uh, unfortunately, Stellar Wish Jirachi is going to suck. Damn. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Uh, there's a gold energy retrieval, electromagnetic radar. <laughs> you detached a giant bomb to a meteor. <laughs> Electrocharger, custom catcher, aqua patch, and hey TP, remember the acro bike from the Behem deck? Grounded. <laughs> like, no item cards for you. Warp energy. So yeah, attaching this, uh, if you attach this to your active, then you just switch it with one of your bench Pokemon. A uh, unit energy. Specifically, the Grass Fire Water Unit Energy, where it provided every single one of these energies, but only one at a time. But that means you got to choose what energy it represented. And here we have Twin Energy. Oh god, my face when I pulled this from a booster pack. 
Cool. It's probably the closest thing we're going to get to a double colorless energy reprint. Because as long as this card is attached to a Pokemon that isn't a Pokemon V or a Pokemon GX, it provides two colorless energy. If this card is attached to a Pokemon V or a Pokemon GX, it only provides one instead. So it's a nice way to balance it out. So like it's something that you can use for like a uh, Pokemon that are just vanilla. But you can still use them for your GXs and, and Pokemon V cards. But the energy acceleration just isn't as much. Oh, cool. Also, uh, the Monty Percent said, Ground, TP's favorite type. And here we have, Hey, TP, Triple Acceleration! Huh? Yeah. Uh. So, yeah, sure, I'm just gonna keep attaching this to Behem and just, uh, recycle it over and over and over again. I don't know why I'm so tired today. Ugh. I don't know why I'm so tired today. We just work or something? Probably is. Or, yeah. So here is Super Boost Energy Prism. And now for some, and now for some gold energy cards. One for Psychic and one for Grass. Then we have the gold draw energy, beast energy, and these last four cards are interesting because they are Pokemon League cards, but with uh, the thing about them is that they have placements on them. I got these through uh, I got these through League challenges because when you win, depending on your placement, they will give you special promo cards with uh, these placements on them. Uh, I unfortunately do not have one of a first place variety. The most I have, though, is a second place one. So I have a second place Raichu. I have a second place Lusamine. A second place Frostmoth. And a fourth place Acerola. Oh, cool. Who <laughs> painted the Millennium on purple? <laughs> But uh, yeah, whenever if I ever take part in a league challenge and I ever get like cards like this, this is where I put them in the back of. Because a lot of times, these cards are of uh, these cards of have special uh, have special art that aren't released officially, and are just and are given out at events. So, yeah. That be the entire binder that I have showcased. Every uh, single... Yep. Uh, that... The Lucimine one. Yeah, the Lucimine one is sweet. Yeah. But, yeah. Is that it? So, you yeah, just, just gotta focus on the Skyla again. I told her I'd go back to her. Awesome. Because, yeah, that's, uh, that's the whole binder, guys. Every single car every single super rare card that i have collected like not over the years because there are some that i do have that are also uh super rare i just didn't want to i just didn't care to put them in the binder because i wanted this to be i wanted them to have like specifically certain kind of cards in them but yeah i do definitely have more in other binders but i'm not going to showcase them here Primarily because this is this is the one binder showcase that I am more so wanting to showcase. This is one that I have been building up for for years. Damn. Yeah, and and just a daily reminder: uh, these two Charizards together make this binder worth a thousand dollars. Yeah. For all the pain and suffering it caused you. Yep, for all the pain and suffering. <laughs> so yeah, that there is the binder. Now let me put the camera back into its uh back on top of here. Okay, cause oh. yeah, cause yeah, like I mentioned, this binder isn't even everything. Like I can even I can even come back here. Like on this bookshelf, like 
I have tins. I have... I have ETBs. I have pre-release kits. Like, like this here. All of them filled with cards. Like, these three shelves here, absolutely filled with them. And this, uh... Even this backpack right here. This big, chonking honker. Filled to the brim with them. Like, uh, hold on. I'll actually... I'll try to open this up. So... Yeah, I'm trying to trying to not make them spell out because there's a lot in here. Or here, I can just do this. So yeah, everything in here. Uh yeah. This backpack is filled with cards. Uh I have definitely been with this series for a long goddamn time. So, yeah, when I say that that binder isn't everything, I mean it's not everything. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's just, that's just generally been my history with the Pokemon TCG and primarily all the things I've collected in this binder. I'm still amazed that I actually was able to get up to 100 rainbow cards. I'm definitely going to keep trying to get more. Just because I got 100 doesn't mean I'm going to stop. If anything, that's just more motivation for me to keep going. But, yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah. Because, like, uh, I haven't uploaded the video yet. But I did mention, like, in the Rise of Superior discussion, one other reason why I often... Uh, why I often actually keep collecting Pokemon cards is because they do make good reference material when I do need them for drawing and such and such and whatnot. That's why I do try to go out of my way to actually try to get Charizards because it helps me with good reference material for when I do need to draw one of my characters. And you know, I also just like the flex. That's also, that is a very fine, valid reason to collect rare cards. Sometimes it is just fun to flex on people. Yeah. So. That's pretty fun. Yeah. So. Uh, I hope that was uh, everything you, everything you were um, hoping to enjoy seeing. I'm glad we were able to hang out, have some fun. You know, this... This, this music track I picked out was very calming and relaxing. It actually kind of put me in a good mood. Yep. What? Yep. But with that said, that is everything I've wanted to showcase for the Binder Showcase. I hope you all had a wonderful time. I know I certainly did, and I hope the people in the call with me had a good time up over it, too. Yeah. We did. It's a good time. Yeah. <laughs> Rel is going to turn into Nux Taku. <laughs> yes, I need to flex. I need to flex my oh card. Oh my god. Board. <laughs> oh god, that guy. Yep. So. He sure likes to troll a lot. Yeah, well, he does. So, with that said, uh, before I end things off here, let us pay tribute to the good boy Greninja here. He, he has no. been through thick and thin. But now we gotta rip him up. No! We must <laughs> preserve him for future generations! Flip and rip. <laughs> no. TP, I'm never. You could not pay me the money to do a flip and a ribbon challenge. Yeah. But yeah. And you know what? I guess just to show it off again, for those of you who probably weren't there when I did showcase it, here is the base set Charizard. Which probably has the funniest story about how I obtained this one. Someone just straight up oh, gave yeah. it to me. So, like, I was looking through, like, a... Okay, I wasn't looking through, like, a, Okay, I was looking through a binder. And then I was going to see if I could maybe, like, get some cards for a deck that I was building. And then after leaving the place, after not finding anything, a guy came up to me. 
And he said, hey, so I'm trying to, so do you collect Pokemon cards? I'm like, yeah. Okay, so I have this card that I'm trying to get rid of because I because I have too much space at my home and I need to get rid of this. And I just thought, well, okay, well, I don't mind taking it if you want to give it to me. And the guy's like, ah, great, here you go. He gives it to me. And it's the base set Charizard. And I had to stand there for a minute, just completely flabbergasted, going like, wait a minute. You just straight up give me this Charizard? The, do you not know what you gave me? I mean, granted. Oh my god. Yeah, I mean, granted, it's not Shadowless Border. It's not first edition, like as you see here. Uh, yeah, like as... Yeah, as you see here, there's a shadowed border on this, so it's not shadowless border. It's also not first edition, as it would say here, but it's still base set Charizard. You don't just give a base set Charizard. Yeah. But, but, you know, I've been keeping it ever since, mostly because of sentimental value, and also because, generally speaking, and I, I know, it's funny I say this after I show that I have a rainbow and shiny Charizard GX. My Charizard poles have typically been stank. Like, I've had garbage luck when it comes to pulling good Charizard cards. So, when I was just given this, I'm like, yeah, no. I, I gotta keep this. Like, forever. Have a nice protected in the sleeve. But yeah, that's all I really got to, uh... And that's really all I got to show off here. So thank you all for coming. I uh, hope to have some more stuff to be able to show off here and there. Maybe on the Twitters. And yeah, we'll definitely see you later. Bye-bye, everyone.